Alright, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be going over the necromancers, talking about summoning builds, minion builds, however you want to put it, and talking about how effective they are, and the probably one of the best ways to build them. So if you like this kind of content, be sure to leave me a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz, and we'll just jump right into this. So, minion builds. One of the biggest things about the minion builds is you kind of need to have a pretty good grasp of what is going on with your minions, what's, where the damage from them is coming from, and how to play them. Uh, number one your raised skeleton if you are playing a minion build raised skeleton is part of your rotation you need to be hitting raised skeleton every five seconds and that will increase your minions damage by 20 percent as well as healing them so definitely needs to be part of your rotation to raise skeleton at least every five seconds so also decrepify if you are running a minion build i highly re recommend decrepify and the two points i'll show you later on when we go over the build that will give you a 10 percent chance to stun your enemy every every enemy hit with decrepify and reduce your cooldowns by one second so we'll go over that later in the build but the important part is decrepify only lasts for eight seconds so already our rotation has raise skeleton every five seconds and decrepify every eight seconds so in order to uh, figure out how effective a minion build is, uh, you, you have to devote several pieces of your gear and a good chunk of your talent tree into your minions to make them effective and actually helpful to you, right? So. We will be going over the build. Uh, you can see from what I'm running here currently, I'm running a Blood Surge build with no uh, basic skills. All of my essence generation is coming from Ray's Skeleton, and my Skeletal Mages are cold, giving me essence from their primary attacks. So this is just the way I'm running it I'm not saying this is the right way I'm not saying this is the best way play this however you want to I'm just going to be explaining what I'm running so on my number one key I've got raised skeleton on the number two key I have blood mist in case I get into trouble number three is decrepify and number four is army of the dead so, num the Army of the Dead is one of the biggest damage multipliers for a minion build you can get. So, to kind of put that in perspective, I've got a couple videos here. I'm Right now, the boss fight is starting for this dungeon. This is the last the boss for the dungeon. All I'm going to be using is my golem's attack when I remember to use it. It doesn't seem like I use it all that much. I'm using Decrepify, Raised Skeleton, and Army of the Dead. And just look at the boss's hit points just melting down. Especially while Army of the Dead is active, look, just all the way down. So I've got one more video we're going to take a look at. I've got a different boss fight where I did the same sort of deal uh, I, and I did not use any of my own damaging abilities. So we'll take a look at it right here real quick before we move on to the build and everything. So again, all I'm using, Ray Skeleton, Decrepify, 
Army of the Dead and possibly occasionally the Golems attack, which is the only source of uh, vulnerable I have on this build. But it looks like I refrain from using the Golems attack at all on this fight. But, but again, you can see all the damage numbers coming out. It, it's pretty decent. So, what's actually happening on the damage? You'll see quite a few numbers. Some as low as two to three hundred, and some going up to two to three thousand. So, the two to three hundred will be the blizzard from my cult, my skeleton mages. The everything else will be from actually from the minions attacking. So anywhere from one thousand to two to three thousand, not on a non-crit damaging attack, and that doesn't seem like all that much. But you have to keep in mind I am running twelve minions on this build, so multiply that times twelve and you'll come up with an approximation of how much damage my minions are doing uh, to the enemies here. Now, so let's take a look at the build. I, I did say Army of the Dead is one of the biggest damage multipliers I've got on this build, and the reason for that is if you look at Army of the Dead, um, it's it says it's a dealing 1758 to 2148 damage for each skeleton that it calls forth that runs towards enemies and explodes i have no idea how many skeletons there actually are there that are doing damage it's 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 a lot um, basically let's compare the, this damage to bone storm Bone Storm does 7,000 to 8,500. Well, so four to five skeletons actually doing damage from Army of the Dead and were equal to Bone Storm. It's way more than that, but just to put it in perspective. So the other part of Army of the Dead is your skeletons that it calls forth have a 15% chance to leave behind a corpse, which is always nice. A little bit of utility, and more utility here. Army of the Dead also raises your skeletal warriors and mages if you get in trouble. So a little more utility out of that ability there. So why am I saying this is one of the biggest damage multipliers for a summoning build? It's because I am using this legendary aspect right here, the unyielding commander's ring that I've got on. Increases, while Army of the Dead is active, your minions gain 97% attack speed and take 90% reduced damage. So what that means is, they basically, my minions have basically doubled their damage for the duration of Army of the Dead. And granted, Army of the Dead doesn't last that long. I believe it was seven seconds, if I saw it right. Let me take a look. Seven seconds. So for seven seconds, I effectively have double the amount of minions that I actually have. That's, that's where all the damage is coming from for it. So... Let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the build I'm running for this. I'm not. I'm. You can pick whatever you want for the basic skill, uh, whether you use it or not. I, I'm not even going to touch that. I'm not going to bother with the core skills. This is what I'm running. But like I say, I I just want to go over the minion part of this build for now. So, 3 out of 3 in Skeletal Warrior Mastery increase the damage and life of your Skeletal Warriors by 45%. So, increase damage, increase survivability for your minions. All good things. So, Grim Harvest, 3 out of 3, I'm generating 6 Essence every time I consume a corpse. 3 out of 3 fueled by death every time I consume a 
corpse, I get 9% multiplicative increased damage for 6 seconds. Then, as I said, I'm using Decrepify for this build. And the reason I'm using Decrepify for this build is, yes, it, it's, it's going to slow the enemies by 40%. So you've got their crowd controlled just from Decrepify. You want Decrepify on everything you're fighting. They deal 20% less damage while they're cursed. But that's still not why we're taking it. This is why. Enemies hit while afflicted with Decrepify have up to a 10% chance to be stunned for 2 seconds. So, 10% may not sound like a lot, but when you have 11 or 12 minions all attacking at the same time, 10% it becomes basically a certainty. <laughs> you, you're going to get stuns on enemies from your minions attacking. It, it, not even counting your own attacks, which also have a chance to trigger this. So, right there, we've already got them crowd-controlled and slowed, and we're, we will be stunning targets that have Decrepify on them. Then there's the next point, a 15% chance to reduce your active cooldowns by one second. So, again, with 12 minions and myself attacking enemies, what starts out as a 60 second cooldown for army of the dead ends up being 30 to 40 seconds for me personally when i'm using this just from all of the cooldown reductions i'm getting from all the different hits i'm getting from the minions and myself so this is going to increase your damage quite a bit by allowing you to use your army of the dead a lot more often you can use army of the dead for pretty much every single elite fight you get into that's why we're running decrepify three out of three skeletal mage mastery damage and life of your skeletal mages by 60 percent <laughs> i mean that's just a given now these points are more for my particular build and for my blood surge so we're not even going to look at them i'm running necrotic carapace for whenever a corpse is formed from your skills or your minions fortify for six percent base life this is where most of our fortification is coming from anytime i kill an enemy or my minions kill an enemy or I get corpses from Army of the Dead, or because I'm running Skeletal Warrior Reapers with a 15% chance for them to form a corpse on each attack, this is contributing to my Fortify as well. So, that's also a good thing to have. Alright, back to the build. Next tier down, I already went over Army of the Dead and why I'm going. I'm using that. I have Inspiring Leader. After you've been healthy for at least 4 seconds, you and your minions gain 12% attack speed. Why is this a really good talent? Increased attack speed means that my minions are hitting targets more often. So, they're triggering bonuses from decrepify a lot more often i'm getting more crowd control i'm getting more cooldown reduction from this so attack speed is a very good thing to have for a minion build three out of three in hellbent commander your minions deal 30 percent increased damage while you're close to them you can't go wrong with that bonded in essence uh, every five seconds, your skeletal priest healing will heal your skeletons for an additional 60% of their maximum life. Which is, you, you need to be using this anyways for the 20% damage increase for your minions. So, this is just going to help you keep your minions alive a bit more. 
I put I only put one out of three in Death's Defense because honestly I I use Ray's skeleton so much that I haven't run into a problem of my skeletons dying very often. So one out of three just to keep them from getting one shotted has been sufficient for me. If you want to put three out of three in this, go for it. This is just what I did. And then last, we have Kalen's Edict. Since I have more than seven minions, I get 30% attack speed from this one talent. From the key passive. So, going back into more crowd control. More damage. More uh, cooldown reduction from this. You know, just... All of this ties in together. So when you look, what I will say though is when you are looking at building a summoner build or a minion build, whatever you want to call it, do not. I, I don't advise going all in on your minions. You'll see. I I have. Quite a few talents spent into Blood Surge and the Blood Talents here. And I'm not putting all of my eggs in one basket. Because if you have played a minion build, you know that sometimes they're idiots. And they're not going to help. You're going to need your own damage to target sp specific enemies that need to die faster, right? So, what, what I do recommend is trying to find a balanced build that is going to help your minions and you equally. So, don't, don't put all your eggs in one basket and just buff your minions. Remember to find a build that will allow you to do damage on your own without actually having to rely on the minions when they're being idiots because it does happen occasionally uh that being said let's take a look at the gear i i want to point out i'm my gear is pretty well split between buffing my damage and my minions damage so the the again a fairly balanced build load out for that so maximum number of skeleton warriors yeah i've got restore three of your primary resource when you crowd control an enemy that's for me yeah uh while army of the dead is active your minions gain 97 percent increased attack speed that's for my minions that's the blood surge unique that's for me that's that's more for me uh, Blood Surge's Nova Echoes again, that's for me. That's for my personal damage. This particular aspect, becoming injured while crowd control grants you unstoppable, that is my... <laughs> that That's the one concession I'm, I've given to trying to stay alive. So if you get caught right after coming out of Blood Mist and get crowd controlled this will break you out of it once every 20 seconds if you get a roll good roll on it uh consuming a corpse has a 27 percent chance to spawn a blood orb that's both for me and for my minions because i have a talent that will allow my minions to be healed when i pick up a blood orb as well Whenever your blood skills overpower, you gain 44% attack speed. That is technically for my own personal damage, but my minions benefit from me getting increased attack speed. There's a different aspect you can run instead of this where your skeletons or your minions gain attack speed every time they do damage and it stacks I think it's up somewhere between 30 and 40 percent increased attack speed that's also really good to run with a minion build 
Uh, maximum number of skeletal mages increased by two. That's adding into my minions. And I've got the ske cold skeletal mages cast Blizzard. And I just want to point out, Blizzard, this is bugged. Please fix it. Says I'm doing 790 on the Blizzard when it should roll between 1900 and 2300. I, I, I don't know what that is, but fix that, please. So, that being said, um, let's go over some of the affixes you can get on your gear to help your minions. On your headpiece, I suggest looking for a cooldown reduction, which I don't have. You know, I, I have not found that on a piece of gear that I could use for this build yet. Uh, chest piece you can get maximum minion life that's always good to get as well as my particular one I have blood skill damage because I'm running a blood skill a blood build so this can be bone skill damage or darkness or shadow whatever you call it uh, so look for those affixes on that on your gloves, look for ranks of whatever core skill you're using, right? And attack speed. Uh, on your pants, you can get maximum minion life. Damage reduction while fortified, those are both really good things to find. On your boots, uh, movement speed. I highly recommend movement speed on your boots because... The Necromancer doesn't have any, you know, speed increasing abilities other than the Shadow build. It can get a little bit, but uh, either way, we're, I think the Necromancer is probably the slowest class because of that. Um, on your weapon, look for damage to slowed enemies. Damage to crowd controlled enemies, core skill damage, stuff like that. Uh, on your amulet, you can get blood skill damage, summoning skill damage. Uh, you can also get, I believe you can get minion maximum life and possibly minion attack speed. I'm not 100%. On that but either of those would be good summoning skill damage is good that's going to increase the damage of all your minions as well um, on the rings you can get the maximum minion life on your rings as well as the damage to crowd controlled enemies that's a really good thing to look for uh, on your shield, if you're not using a two-handed weapon, you can also get cooldown reduction and minion attack speed. Those are going to be really helpful. And I could be wrong, but I believe that you can also get minion maximum life on your shield as well. Correct me if I'm wrong on that in the comments below, but that's... yeah that's all i've got for you gems i'm running rubies on just about everything except for my jewelry which i run skulls for the increased armor uh if you are running a minion build i will say on the paragon board the uh, and i cannot think of the name of the paragon board but it's the only one that really deals with your minions other than the golem one. Which I don't think I believe is worth it. But I haven't tried it yet. As well as there is a glyph called Dead Razor. These are... I, I highly recommend this Paragon board and this glyph. For any minion build because you're going to get a ton of damage out of it for instance 32% minion damage out of this one 5% 5% 5%, 5 
another 8% here. Uh, I've got damage reduction for minions. I have skeletal warriors damage over on this side with armor and more damage. The This one, your minions deal 15% increased damage for each minion type you have active. I have three types active, so 45% increased damage just from this one node right here um minion armor meh then the skeletal mages damage skeletal mages resistance to all more skeletal mage damage uh just just a lot of stuff on this board for your minions i really highly recommend you run this paragon board if you're running a minion build so that's all I can really think of to say about the uh, summoner build, the minion build, whatever you want to call it. If I missed anything, be sure to leave me a comment below. And uh, if you like this kind of content, be sure to leave me a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz. And I'll see you in the next one.